for helping today. No problem, Dr. P. This is so exciting. I love cakes. So, what do we do? Well, first we make the mixture for the cakes, and then we flavor them with these ingredients. Whoa. Oh, cool. Oh, hey, Toto. Are you working on your scrapbook? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that looks great. Oh, the first cake is ready. Let's see how it looks. Oh, this would be perfect with pink icing on top. Pink icing? No, no, no. Yellow icing is the way to go. No, silly. This is a raspberry cake. It needs to be pink icing. Mmm, cupcakes for lunch. I'll set them down here to cool off. Will you keep an eye on them, Toto? Yeah. Dr. Panda! <laughs> Dr. Panda! Oh, hi, June. What's up? I'm having guests over to see my latest paintings. I promised them a special cake. We could make you a special chocolate cake. Or a banana cake with yellow icing. How about a blueberry cake with pink icing? We can make any cake you want. You just have to pick what you like. Hmm. I know. How about all three cakes in one? Hmm. A super cake. We could do that. Super cake. I like the sound of that. You're the best, Dr. Panda. A real lifesaver. I'll come back after lunch to collect it. Bye! What if we each bake a cake and stack them on top of one another once they're done? I'll do the banana-flavored yellow cake. And I'll do the pink blueberry cake. And I'll do the chocolate cake. Yay! until our cakes are ready. Who wants a cupcake? Me. Me too. Oh, wow. Did you do this, Toto? Yeah. They look like the flowers from your scrapbook. They're beautiful. Mm, and delicious too. Great job, Toto. <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh, our cakes are done. Time to make these into a super cake. Hmm, the chocolate cake can be at the bottom. Oh, my banana cake should go on top. But you'll squish my blueberry cake. On top! Left a bit. There. Now that's a super cake, I think. Phew. I'm back! Is my super cake ready? Yep. Oh, exciting. Hold on. Whoa. Here, I'll help. Oh. 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 Here is our first order, Dr. Panda. Ziggy's got a big appetite, and he wants a plate of fried eggs first. Moo didn't have as many eggs as I'd hoped. Oh, okay. I'll ask Ziggy if you want something else instead. Hoopa, wait. I have enough eggs for this order, but please try and get him to order something without eggs next. Leave it to me, Dr. Panda. Oh, that was good. For the next round, I think I'll have... How about soup, or spaghetti, or a sandwich? 
Oh, we have very good sandwiches. Oh, a cheese and tomato sandwich. That makes my tummy rumble. Oh, mine too. Lovely fresh tomatoes and crumbly cheese. Sweet dressing. You know what would go really well with that? Some hard-boiled eggs. Uh. Great idea. That's what I'll have with two hard-boiled eggs. No. Oh. Nothing wrong, is there? No. Good choice, sir. Great news, Dr. Panda. Oh, good. You finally got Ziggy to order something without eggs. Yep. What did he order? Spaghetti, soup, pie, a salad? No, blueberry pancakes. Aw, oh, but I need eggs to make the batter for the pancakes, and I'm all out of eggs. Oh, boy. Uh, excuse me. There isn't a problem with my order, is there? No. Problem? What problem? There's no problem, Ed. <laughs> there is a problem. A big problem. If Ziggy doesn't get what he wants, we have to give him his meal for free. Hmm. If only Moose chickens could lay more eggs. Yee yeah. I have an idea. Bring the chickens to the diner. Huh? Well, four. Ooh. Taking chickens across the city is not easy, Dr. Pander. Now, what exactly is your plan? Well, I know your chickens don't have straw, but I wonder if they might like this instead. <laughs> I think they like it. Great idea, Dr. Pander. <laughs> now we just have to wait. You know what happy chickens do. I found one! Excuse me, you're taking your time with those pancakes. They're coming right up, Ziggy. We've just had a fresh delivery of eggs. <gasps> wow! The food here really is fresh. After the pancakes, I think I'll have the pie with a side order of fresh eggs. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alad, our first order's in. A mushroom special for Hoopa. Oh, this is hard. Does it look round enough, Dr. Panda? Oh, yep, looks round enough to me. Oh. I'll work on this side a little more. Hey, hey, what do you say? Who's ready to make a pizza today? Bip, you're late. Am I? So sorry. So, Dr. P, what do you want me to do? Well, um, Olette's working on the base. I'm making the tomato sauce. Maybe you could prepare the vegetables. On it, Dr. P. Done. Looking good, Olette. Step aside. Perfecto. Really, Bip, you need to take this more seriously. What's wrong with a bit of fun? Hi, Ziggy. Hello, Dr. Panda. I'd like to order two pizzas, please. The Veggie Feast and the Mushroom Special. One Veggie Feast and one Mushroom Special coming right up. 
You know our motto. Our pizzas are always tasty and always on time. Ooh, what if the pizzas are late? Do I get them for free? <laughs> oh, they won't be late. Hey, <laughs> then we have a deal. See you soon, Dr. Panda. And don't be late. <laughs> Two pizzas for Ziggy, and they have to be delivered on time. Then we'll have to move fast. That's what I'm good at. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm here for my pizza. Perfect timing, Hoopa. Let me slice it up for you. Oh, uh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, that was delicious. Pizza perfection! Thanks for a great pizza. See you next time. Bye, Hoopa. Okay, let's get Ziggy's pizzas ready for the oven. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Ziggy's pizzas. Uh. Oh, hi, Richie. Hello, Dr. Panda. I'd like a pizza, please. One with olives. Not green olives. I don't like them. Black olives. Precisely five of them. And some peppers. Green, not red, but they can't touch the olives. Also, I want four slices of tomato, but cut in half to go on top of the green peppers. Got it. Another pizza? Oh, but I haven't even finished Ziggy's pizzas yet. Hey, not a pizza problem. Why make two when you can make three? Okay, uh, you take this pizza base, it's the most round, and start on Richie's pizza. I'll make a new pizza base for Ziggy's order. Black olives, not green. Okay. Oh, no, no, uh, Richie wants exactly five olives, remember? Yeah. Uh. Not quite round yet. Uh. More slices of tomato. Cut in half, remember, and on top of the peppers. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Finally done. Now all we have to do is wait. That smell. <gasps> Look! The oven was on too high! And now the pizzas are burnt! Aww. No worries. We'll quickly do them again. Uh, I have to make Richie's pizza again? Oh, boring. We'll never make it on time. It takes me ages to get the pizza bases perfectly round. Oh. <laughs> Hey, what if you two switch roles? Bip, you could use your juggling skills for the pizza base. And, Alette, you're very precise. You could put the vegetables on the pizza exactly as Richie wants. If everybody does what they're good at, we'll be a lot quicker and have more fun at the same time. That is a great, great idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going. Somebody order a pizza? <gasps> but this pizza is all wrong. Oh, hang on. <sighs> ah, that's my pizza. Enjoy. We gotta go. Thanks. Bye. Hurry. Five, four, three, two, one. Too late. I get the pizzas for free. Huh? Nah, just kidding. You were right on time. Would you like a slice? I probably ordered more than I can eat. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ziggy. Two, three, four. Hey, hey, hey. Listen to the song that we play, play, play. We've been practicing all day. Cause the music sounds better when you play together. We're gonna bring it on if you want to sing along. Hey! <laughs> hey, we sound pretty good. Yes, but we can do even better. Let's go again. Again? There's only one way to get our song perfect, Bip, and that's practice, practice, practice. She has a point. Okay. Two, three, four. Hey, hey, hey. Listen to the song that we play, play. Hey, no phones 
during practice. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. Dr. Panda, we're putting on a concert at the park. And we want you to play. You're amazing. Oh, really? Oh, yes. What? Mm. When? Today. We're your biggest fans and we cannot wait. <laughs> Oh, wow. Thanks, Moo and Hoopa. See you at the park. Yes, we got a gig. Yeah. Come on. We have to practice even harder now. We cannot let our fans down. Uh, maybe we should relax for a while. You know, so we're fresh for the concert later. When we've given our fans the show of a lifetime, we can relax. Until then, let's get to work. <sighs> Two, three, four. La la la, la la la, la la la, la 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 Sounds perfect. All set for the show. Great. Who wants some lemonade? Oh, oh, me! Are you coming, May May? Ha ha ha, ha 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 May May, maybe you should rest your voice for a while. Da -da, uh -huh, uh -huh. Practice, 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 Dr. Panda. It's the only route to perfection. Da 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 Remember, we're doing this for our fans. Let's give them a show they'll never forget. Yay! I hope they play my favorite song. You know, the one that goes, hey, hey, hey. Listen to the song that we play, play, play. Yes! Cause the, the music, music sounds, sounds better, better when you play, play together. together. <laughs> I think the show's about to start. Oh, and Bip, the part where you come in, remember to go, da 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 da. Da 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 Okay. Mimi, are are you okay? I don't know. Am I? Uh no. <gasps> My voice. Uh, no worries. I think you've just strained your voice. Here, drink this. Thank you. I can't sing like this. I've let you all down. No, you haven't. I have. And even worse, I've let our fans down. Without them, we're nothing. This is a disaster. Da 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 da. La 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 la. La 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 la. La la la. You're right, May May. Our fans are really important. Come on up here, Hoopa, and you, Moo, and your chickens. You too, Toto. Huh? Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you all know the words. Why don't you help us out and sing along? Yay! Let's do it. Cool. Hit it, Bip. Two, three, four. Hey, hey, hey. Panda plays the tumor. Hello, my name is Hoopoo. No one clapping for myself. <laughs> you deserve it, Hoopa. 
I picked my carrots this morning and now look. Hmm. Why would carrots suddenly disappear? I don't know. Are you sure you haven't eaten them for breakfast? I had eggs for breakfast. Eggs? Hmm. <gasps> Maybe someone <gasps> took them. I don't think so. Who would have taken them? Someone who likes carrots, that's who. Oh, I know. June. She loves carrots. But June wouldn't just take them without asking. You know, Moo, sometimes things turn out to be quite different than they seem at first. Anything could have happened. <gasps> Maybe the baskets have holes. No holes. Has anything else gone missing from the farm? I don't know. I was on my way to collect some apples when I noticed... Oh! <gasps> my apples! Moo! Not my apples, too! I was going to make my special apple pie! Are you sure there's no thief, Dr. Pander? Not likely. This thief would have to be really tall to reach all the way up there. Olette! She could reach up with her trunk. But Olette is no thief. She would never steal your apples. Nope, something else must have happened. So, Moo, when was the last time you saw the apples? Uh, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Maybe the apples got blown off the tree by a storm. But there wasn't a storm. Okay. Um, oh, maybe you already collected the apples and just forgot? No worries, Moo. We'll solve this mystery together. <laughs> look, look! Oh, what's this? It's a footprint. Well, whose footprint is it? Don't know yet. But I'm sure things aren't as they seem. <gasps> oh, my. Whoever this thief is, they must still be on the farm. First the carrots, then the apples. <gasps> Where else do you keep food? <gasps> the kitchen! Oh, at least my cupcakes are still here. I made them specially. They're my favourite. So, everything's still here then. Oh, <gasps> my cupcakes! No! Oh no, oh no, oh no! All my food gone right from under our very noses. This thief has a big appetite to want so much food. Someone like Hooper. That's ridiculous, Moo. Well, it must have been Bip then. He's fast and he's certainly a bit of a rascal. Bip does like to mess around, but he's no thief. Sometimes things aren't what they seem at first, remember? Ah, a feather! Another clue! Let's look at what we know. First, there were the empty carrot baskets, then the strange footprints by the orchard, and now a feather in the kitchen. Hmm. No worries, Moo. We'll solve this mystery together. <gasps> Listen in the background. We'll solve this mystery together. Have you checked the chickens today, Moo? Oh, my chickens! Oh, no! Oh, no! Someone's taken all my chickens! Remember that things can be very different from what they seem. Maybe the chickens went out for a stroll. I do hope they're all right. Oh, I know! We'll set a trap to find the thief. Ooh. Here's what we'll do. We'll tie the chocolate bar to the camera with string. And we'll get a picture of whoever takes the chocolate. All we have to do is wait. Oh, someone's here. Oh, they're too quick, Dr. Pander. We'll see about that. Oh, is that my chickens? But why would my chickens want to steal my food? I feed them very well. I don't know. But there must be a good reason. Hmm. Huh? Ah! Moo, look! Oh, my! <laughs> Wow. Oh, my sweet darlings! Thank you! Uh, Moo, I think 
it's time you enjoyed the special treat the chickens made you. So, there was no thief after all. <laughs> you were right, Dr. Panda. Things can be very different from what they seem. Oh, thanks for helping me today. And you too, Toto. Mmm, yummy! Hold it right there, Toto! Hey, that's a very nice picture. Hi, Moo! Hi, Dr. Pander. Are you ready to get to work? I've put the ice in the shade so it doesn't melt. There you go. Do you know what you're going to make yet? Yep, but it's a surprise. Oh, <laughs> oh OK. Well, I'd better go and make those ice pops. They won't make themselves. And make sure you keep the ice in the shade or it will melt and that will be a disaster. No problem. By the time you get back, I'll be finished. Toto, that looks great. I've just finished my ice sculpture. Want to see what I've made? Uh-huh. <gasps> wow! Chicken! That's right. It's a chicken. Do you like it? <laughs> wow! What happened? Oh, hi, Hoopa. What if most chickens has turned to ice? No, no. I made it out of a block of ice. Oh, wow! An ice chicken! How smart! Oh, what a great choice for your ice sculpture, Dr. Pander! It's wonderful! It looks just like them! Glad you like it, Moo. But now I need you to help me with something else. I've got lots of flavours, and I need your help pouring them into the moulds. Then I can freeze them in my cart. No worries, Moo. Great! There's no time to lose before the opening. Hoopa, can you make sure the ice sculpture stays in the shade to keep it from melting? Sure! Leave it to me, Dr. Panda. Thanks. Just follow the shadow. The last one. Do you think we've made enough? <laughs> we've made plenty. And there's even jelly left over. Oh, what are we going to do with it all? Let's go and get the ice sculpture. Then we'll figure it out. Hi, Hoopa. We've come to get the sculpture. But where is it? It's melted. You left it in the sun. But that's impossible. I stayed in the shade the whole time. Uh, you're in the shade, Hoopa. But the trolley is in the sun. Oh, no. Mo, this is a disaster. What are we going to do, Dr. Pander? No worries, Moo. We'll come up with something. But what? I don't have an ice sculpture for the opening of my ice pop cart anymore. All I have is my leftover jelly. I'm sorry, Moo. I wish I could do something. <laughs> We can do something, Hoopa. 
I have an idea. You do? Yep. You can still have a sculpture, Moo, but this time it'll be made out of jelly instead of ice. A jelly chicken? Exactly. That sounds great. Even better than an ice chicken. Huh? Chickens. Whoa, that is one cool chicken. Yep, and Moo's ice pops are even cooler. Want to try one? Yeah, one of each flavor, please. <laughs> oh, that is so yummy. Hi, Dr. Panda. Hi, Toto. Look, the stars are already waiting for you. <gasps> wow! When can we see the shooting stars? Well, they're supposed to start in an hour. Aw, that means we have to wait for a long time. Yes, but there's lots more to see. We can look for planets, or see how many constellations we can find. What's a constellation? <laughs> That's the name for a group of stars. Let's see. Okay. Ha! Here's Orion. It's in the shape of a hunter. You can find it by looking for the three stars in his belt. Amazing! Oh, you want to see two? There's Ursa Major. Oh, that means Great Bear. You can recognize it by the stars that are shaped like a saucepan. And that one there is <coughs> my constellation. You have your own group of stars? No, I mean, this constellation is called Leo. <laughs> oh, you look great up there, Leo. <laughs> How do we know which of the stars are going to shoot? Oh, shooting stars are not really stars. No, people just call them that because they look like stars shooting across the night sky. Then what are they? They're meteors, small pieces of space rock. Most of them are tiny, only the size of a pebble. Mm. So how can we see them from all the way down here? Because when they hit the Earth's atmosphere, they burn up and glow like stars. And that's called a meteor shower. A meteor shower. Cool. But they only light up for a moment. So you have to keep your eyes... Your eyes... Open. Leo, wake up. Yeah. What? what? Oh, I wasn't asleep. No, but you nearly were, wasn't he, Toto? <laughs> I guess it's past your bedtime, huh? <laughs> Maybe the blanket and the hot chocolate have made us a little too comfortable. <laughs> we don't want to miss the meteor shower. Let's do something to keep ourselves awake. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. 
I don't think I'm fit enough for this. C can we do something a little less energetic? How about singing a song to stay awake? Oh, yes. A good old outdoor sing-along. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. How, How I, I wonder, wonder what, what you, you are. are. Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you Oh no! Maybe that wasn't such a good song to sing after all. Leo, wake up! Leo! 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 Oh, it's no good, Toto. He's fast asleep. If we can't think of something to wake him up, he's gonna miss the meteor shower. There you are, Dr. Pander. I've got Leo's order ready to go. You better hurry. It's a long drive. No worries, Moo. I'll have this loaded up in no time. Wait! Be careful. There are eggs in there. If they break before you get to Leo's house, they'll be useless. Oh, hey, maybe we should protect the eggs. Like what? Hmm. Moo, have you got any old pillows? Hmm? Even with all of these feathers, you'll still have to drive really carefully to make sure the eggs don't break. The road gets very bumpy further up the mountain. No worries, Moo. I'll be extra careful. Ah, what a perfect day for a drive, Toto. <laughs> on the road, right on track, with the load of eggs in the back, up the mountain and all the way back. Better hope those eggs don't crack. <laughs> uh, why is the truck shaking? I hope it's not going to shake the egg basket. Oh, and what's that noise? Uh, I gotta stop Poopa before the eggs get broken. Poopa, stop! Oh, hello, Dr. Panda. Poopa, turn off the drill. I can't hear you! Wait! Let me turn off the drill! Hello, Dr. Panda! What brings you all the way up here? <laughs> I'm taking a basket full of eggs to Leo. Could you stop drilling until we've gone past? Sure! No problem! But watch out! The road really gets rocky further up the mountain. Okay, thanks! See you later, Hoopa! See ya! Ready, steady, drill! Uh-oh! Uh, I think we hit a rock, Toto. Ah, oh, phew! At least the eggs are okay. Flat! Yep, very flat. But no worries! I'll have it fixed in no time. First, we lift up the truck uh, using this. It's called a jack. Uh, uh, uh. And after that, we take the old tire off. Look, there's the hole. Ooh. But I can patch this up and it'll be good as new. <laughs> Like a balloon. Balloon! Now I can put the tire on. Ah. And we can get going. All done. <laughs> I think we're past the hardest bit. We're almost there, Toto. There's the river. All we have to do is cross the bridge and drive down to Leo's place. Uh oh. Look! Those tree trunks must have fallen from the bridge and floated over to Leo's. Hmm, the truck will never fit on the bridge now. 
I guess I'll just have to carry the eggs across instead. I'll be right back, Toto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 no! <sighs> it's no good, Toto. I can't go that way. I might break all the eggs. Ah, oh, how will I get them to Leo now? Hmm, maybe there's something in the truck we can use. Balloon! Oh, sorry, Toto. This is no time to play with your balloon. <gasps> <laughs> huh? Hmm. Aha! I think I know how to get the eggs to Leo. the bridge to tell Leo his delivery is on its way. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to go, Toto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's not. We haven't finished building this spaceship yet. Oh, but you can finish it later, Richie. What? No, we can't leave it half done. Hmm. Oh, <gasps> hey, you could finish it and then bring Toto to the dance studio. Is that okay, Toto? <laughs> yeah. Huh. <laughs> Have fun! I'll see you later! Okay, it says we need a red piece with three holes. No, Toto, look at the instructions. That piece goes there. What we're looking for goes here. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hi, Mimi. Are you ready to dance? Absolutely! Ready to get my groove on! <laughs> well, this is a different kind of dance. It's called a waltz. You have to learn the steps, and you'll need a partner. Yep, I've asked Bip to be my partner. He's the best dancer in town. Oh, so where is he? It's funny. Even though he moves fast, he's always late. No worries. We'll just get started. So, these are the instructions that show you where to put your feet and how to move for each of the dance steps. Um, the instructions look confusing. Let's just try one of the steps and see how it goes. So, this is your left foot, and your right foot goes next to it. And we're supposed to hold each other like this. Okay. <laughs> um, then we put our left foot forward and the right foot... <laughs> oh, sorry. It's okay. Let's try again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yay! <laughs> What's up, peeps? Oh, hi, Bip. Good thing you're here. We were just working out the dance steps. No stress, Dr. P. The dance master is in the house. Watch me now. Look at this move. Break it down, break it down, break it down, break it down. That was awesome. Yeah. But the music for the competition is slightly different. I can dance to any type of music. Hit it! Uh, huh? Uh, ooh. Okay, um, maybe we should learn the steps first. What do you mean, learn the steps? You can't just move however you like to this type of music. Dr. Panda is here to teach us the steps. Mm-hmm. These instructions show where to put your feet and how to move them. Okay, let's do it. Ah! Oh. Uh. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Hoopa, may I have those flowers, please? Here you go, oh magical Dr. Panda, sir. Abracadabra! Oh! Hooray! 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 Oh, 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 wow! <laughs> Thank you! For my next trick, I need a volunteer. Oh, 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 oh. Someone who fits inside this box. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Come on 
up, Toto. Watch in amazement as I send Toto from this box to that box and back again using only the power of magic. magic. This magic hat will help Toto on his magical journey. <laughs> Ready, Toto? Remember, just like we practiced. <laughs> Abracadabra! <gasps> How did you do that? She'll make Toto reappear. Abracadabra! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now I will magically send Toto back to the first box. Abracadabra! <laughs> <laughs> Abra, a cadabra. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Panda. What? Oh, um. Are you sure you said the magic word right, Dr. Panda? I believe so, Hoopa. Abra, cadabra. No. <laughs> Worries. Sometimes magic can take a little while to work. You'll have to take over, Hoopa. I need to find Toto. Good luck! Hmm? Whoa. Wait, what? Huh? <gasps> Hi. Uh, how about a card trick? A trick. <laughs> Toto! Toto! There! <laughs> Is this your card? Uh, no. How about this one? No. This one? Nuh-uh. <laughs> We need to finish the magic trick. Toto hat. Hey! Uh, I will now pull these rings apart using magic. Ah, uh, crap! I do. Ah, crap! I do. Ah, crap! I do. Look, Toto, these are the seeds. We plant them in the ground, and in time, they grow into vegetables that we can eat. Yay! <gasps> Birds! Oh, no! Shoo! Shoo! Stop eating the seeds! <laughs> shoo! Shoo! Uh, oh, now I'll have to plant this row again. Uh, uh. Hey! Uh, shoo! Uh, uh. <laughs> These seeds aren't for you! <laughs> They're to grow food for us! <laughs> Aw, Toto! How will I ever finish planting the seeds if the birds are just waiting to come back? Maybe there's something in Moo's barn that we can use to keep the birds away. Uh, let's see. Ah. Whoops. Hmm. This gives me an idea. Look, 
Toto, I've made a scarecrow. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll fool the birds into thinking there's someone here. You reckon it'll work? Shoo, birds! Shoo! Oh, oh, they're more scared of me than the scarecrow. Hey, maybe I can make it look more like me. are scared when I move around. Maybe they're not scared of the scarecrow because it stays still. Have my breakfast. Hi, Olette. Where do you want your milk? Oh, in the kitchen, please. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. And I've been looking forward to pouring this fresh, cold milk over my cereal. Hey, why isn't the milk coming out? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I think the milk might have gotten a little too cold. I'm sorry, Olette. It's frozen. Frozen? What? Now what am I going to have for my favorite meal of the day? <gasps> oh, I know. Would you like some strawberries? <gasps> strawberries? I love strawberries. You have strawberries, Dr. Panda? I sure do. Freshly picked this morning. Follow me. You. Uh oh. Oh no. What's wrong? Uh, the strawberries are all squashed. That must have been the noise we heard. Squashed strawberries and frozen milk. Well, how is that supposed to make a tasty breakfast? I have an idea. Olette, how do you feel about a strawberry milkshake? For breakfast? Really?
goodness, Dr. Panda. This is the best strawberry milkshake I have ever tasted. 